What's making you feel that something has changed? I want to hear from you, sir. What is it? Okay, it might have something to do with some of the little lies I've been catching her in. Okay, so that means trust. Because there's always a core of something. Yes, you say you've been catching her in lies. Tell me what it is that you've caught her in. Okay, so, you know, I work at night. She gets off, like, 12.30, and I leave home to go to work, truck driver. So I got to go by her job, you know, to get to my truck. Her car wasn't there. It's 1 o'clock. I call, I call. She finally picked up the phone at 3. 3 now, o'clock in the morning? 3 o'clock in the morning. Asked her where she was, she told me at a bar with some co-workers. And I admit that but I was wrong with that. You told me you was coming home afterwards. Where you you were at work, you wasn't going even going to be home. I admit I was wrong. And I felt bad about that. We have Why to, did you lie? Because of this right here. The trust issues that he already has and the arguments. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not going to help with trust issues to lie. My thing is, he's going on the road. I would rather him not know that I'm going out and be in sound mind and you know, on the road, then another argument before we go on. And why would there be an argument? Because he wants me to be at home 24-7. Our son is 18. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be at home 24-7 No, you don't. I have raised my son. I have been the best wife that I can be. I've done everything that I'm supposed to do, and I'm continuing to do that, but the trust issue is what's pulling us apart. I love my husband. There's no doubt. I love my husband. And therefore, I want to make him happy. So if lying to him makes him happy, then that's what I did. 